Today we're going to be downloading the Brave web browser onto our Mac. It's a very, very simple process. Let's walk through it right now. Okay, so first things first, Brave is a really great cryptocurrency based privacy controlling web browser. It's really been growing in popularity and it's got some really great features as well as some options where you can earn cryptocurrency simply by using it, viewing ads, sharing links, those kind of things to build your portfolio with some cryptocurrency. So we're gonna be walking through all those videos coming up soon. Again, remember to subscribe. In order to get Brave onto your Mac, basically use the link in the description box below. That's our affiliate link. Now in exchange for you using that affiliate link of ours, we're gonna earn some BAT or basic attention token. That is a cryptocurrency that Brave is connected with. And that link will take you directly to this page right here where you can then click on the download Brave button. Now, if you're on a Mac, you're automatically going to be directed to a page that looks like this. If I click that download, you can see we now have to choose between the kind of chip that we have in our specific Mac. So obviously the most common is the Intel chip. If you have a, a computer that is very new uh, at the time of this video, November 2020 or later, you're probably gonna have the M1 Apple chip. I'm gonna go with the Intel chip because that's what we have. You can also use this drop down menu and it can show you how to look for the type of chip that you have on your specific Mac. I'm gonna click the Intel chip here. And as you can see, we have a download package that's currently going to our downloads folder. So once that is done downloading, we can then go to our downloads folder and we can open that up. Okay, so we're looking at my downloads folder on my Mac. And as you can see, I've got the Brave browser package that downloaded. This is going to be basically like a zip file. And so we're gonna to need to double click on this. And that's going to basically bring up our install window and we can walk through the process here. Let's hit continue. We are gonna select the destination where we want this to download to. Obviously we want it on our hard drive and not on our external storage drive. So make sure the arrow is pointed towards your hard drive. I'm gonna click continue. You can see it's gonna take up almost 300 megabytes of space. So obviously just make sure you have that amount on your laptop. I'm gonna click install. We need to type in our password here. I'm gonna type that in really quick and we can continue. Okay, after you hit install software, this is going to write some files. It takes only a couple minutes because the file size is fairly small. Okay, and installation was successful. I'm gonna go ahead and close this window. You can actually move the installer from our download window straight into the trash. I'm gonna click out of our downloads. And then basically we are ready to open up this application. So what I can do is I can come down to Launchpad. This is all of my applications that I have. And as you can see now at the very end, Brave Browser is ready for us to click on. You can obviously also find this in your applications folder. Let's click on this. Okay, so the first thing that Brave is going to ask us about is if we want to use it as our default browser. Now I don't at this time, so I'm gonna uncheck this. As long as you're okay with it coming up anytime you're wanting to use any kind of web based uh, browsing, then click on this check mark and use it as your default. I'm gonna uncheck and let's click Start Brave. Okay, and we are here on our welcome screen. We are ready to get started. Again, I just wanted to show you friends how to get it onto your Mac or your other computer. Again, if you're using a Windows-based machine, the download link should have taken you uh, to a download that would work on your PC. We're gonna be making a bunch more of these Brave videos. Again, remember to use the link in the description box below. It helps out the channel. And subscribe so you can be the first to be notified that our new tutorial videos are out and available on how to use this browser to earn cryptocurrency and do all sorts of other great things to protect your privacy. All right, thanks for watching, friends. We'll see you again on the next one.